stunned. What are you up to? I'm a bit busy at the moment, Chris. What are you busy with? I'm trying to do 3D printing. Don, that's not how 3D printing works. Well, how does it work if you're so clever, Mr Smarty Pants? Time for investigation out. Do this. Feel your own head. It's the easiest way of getting a sense of what your skull is like. But wouldn't it be better if you could actually see it? Well, today, I'm going to do just that. I'm about to come face to face with my own skull. First stop, an MRI scanner. It takes pictures of your body, including your tissue, blood vessels, organs, and most importantly today, my bones. The MRI takes thousands of images. It's almost like slicing the skull and taking a picture of each slice. On here, I've got loads of pictures of my head. And we're going to do something that until recently would have seemed like science fiction. That's right. I'm going to print my skull. This is a 3D printer. It's not like a normal printer with ink and paper. This prints things you can pick up and use. But one of the most amazing things it can do is print replacement body parts. And to prove it, I'm going to print an exact copy of my skull. My MRI scan images are sent to this printer, which then prints each slice of my skull as a thin layer of blue glue in this bed of powder until the complete skull is created. In charge of 3D printing at Nottingham University is Dr Glenn Kirkham. So that's your skull. Now they've printed the skull in blue, just for me. It's very, very creepy, actually. If I do that, it's exactly like scratching my own head. He may not look a lot like me, but in fact, the shape of your skull enormously influences the way you look, because no two skulls are alike. Your skull is the only one of its kind in the world. And did you know you have a hole in the back of your head as well? That? Yeah, is so. that just a glitch? With the printer? No, you have a little hole in the back of your head. What's a bit odd is I can feel it with this finger on the printed skull, and I can feel exactly the same little hole with this finger on my real skull. That's not right. The 3D printing isn't just fun. It's got a real medical use. Scientists are now 3D printing more complex bits of the body. Even something that seems simple, like your nose, has a bony bit at the top and then soft tissue at the bottom and the latest 3D printers can do both. Meet the mind-blowing, megatastic master of 3D printing. What makes this incredible piece of technology different to the one that printed my skull is that it not only prints hard bones using a special plastic and powder, it also prints soft tissue using a gel filled with live cells, which could become real working organs. But to do that, the printer needs to know which order to put the cells in. So, if you want to print a heart, then you need to get the billions of cells in your body into the right order to make a heart. And if you want to make a kidney, then all the cells need to be put in a different order. The way scientists do this is by moving the cells on a computer tablet. This is our digital tweezer system, so this lets us grab individual cells and move them around wherever we want them to go. So, unbelievably, my finger is moving cells that are under a microscope in another building. That is awesome. The possibilities with 3D printing are limitless, even within your lifetime. It might be possible that if you damage a bit of your body, you can simply print you another one. Now, isn't that amazing? I think I'd look better in green, though, Chris. 